together. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. 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 I think so. There ain't no funeral today. No. It's going to be a, a day of rejoicing. You don't yeah. need Amen. next week the world to tell you when to be thankful. Uh-oh. You should have been thankful all year up until this point. Amen. Amen. Oh, boy. Get into it. Last week, I was in the book of Hebrews. I didn't have a chance to expound upon chapter 11 because we got caught up at the end of chapter 10. Mm -hmm. I gave you an overview last week of how the Hebrew writer wrote that Jesus is better than the prophets. Yeah. He's better than the priests. Yeah. Yeah. That there's a better covenant and that his sacrifice was better. Mm -hmm. Normally when we use the word uh, better, sometimes it brings to mind that something else was bad. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. But as we heard Brother Arnold extrapolate this morning, the law is good. Yep. Yes. Amen. But the law didn't have a salvific benefit, benefit built into it. Yes. Yes. True. Amen. Do you understand what that means? That the law didn't have a salvific <coughs> benefit <coughs> built into it. Because once you broke the law, you was condemned. Yeah. Yep. Amen. That's right, bro. Amen. See, the, the, the salvific benefit of the New Testament is the blood. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Woo. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Because the, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Amen. Amen. That's right, bro. Service. As I got to chapter 11, I, I, one thing that I started to think about uh, this week, and if you take it the wrong way, it's on you. Over the years in the body of Christ, we've actually produced church members rather than disciples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And that, you know, there's that's a true. difference. That's true. Yeah. There's a difference between a church member and a disciple. Yep. Amen. A disciple is willing to be a pupil or a student. That's right, bro. A church member just want credit for being a church yeah. member. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So true. And I would say that, and I mentioned this on Tuesday, we're developing as people of God. Yep. Mm -hmm. So nobody can say that they arrived at anything because once you say you've arrived, then nobody can teach you. Yes. 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 And this, I would say this generation, there are a lot of biblically illiterate people in the church. Amen. We, you know, we show up, so Amen. to speak, on Sunday like we know, but in reality, we don't know. Mm -hmm. And that, over the years, I've seen, the, 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 not that I had to judge or watch, but you see things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've seen people who, and that we use the word faith because that's what I'm going to talk about this morning. We actually judge people's faith by assembly attendance. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. And that don't make you, <coughs> that, that doesn't warrant faith. Because some of you came here today don't have faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep it real. You came here possibly out of habit. You came here yes. possibly yes. out of because, yes. you know, that's just yes. the thing that you do. You came here possibly uh, just because you a church member. Come on now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we start uh, talking about faith, I would say for the most part, and this may hurt some people, but, hey, it's the truth anyhow. Faith doesn't mean God has to respond to your emergency. Amen. Yeah. Whoa, Amen. that's all right. Whoa. That's real. That's real. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not obligated to respond because you got an emergency. That's right. Uh, faith doesn't mean that because you prayed to overcome something that you overcome it. Because sometimes you ain't. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I, I wouldn't be surprised that for, for many of us, the reason why our faith may not be developing 
is because you always want the good to come out of your faith. Amen. <laughs> that's all right. That's, that's true. <laughs> Don't you? I mean, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it intrinsically, but we always want something good to come out of it. Mm -hmm. Don't we? Yeah. Out of our faith. Mm -hmm. Yet, you've read the Bible. Everything good didn't come out of somebody's faith, Ooh. did it? Yes, Amen. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it did not. No. <laughs> did y'all know that? Right. Did not. Huh? Mm -mm. Everything, because somebody had faith, mm. good things didn't come out of it within the spectrum of their surroundings. surroundings. That's all right. Amen. 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 That's true. All right, y'all didn't right. get it. Yeah, right. Some of y'all said, yeah, but you ain't get it. Because if I asked you for an example, you wouldn't have one. All right, Baptist, boy. Cut his head. Paul had faith. Come on now. There you go right there. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he? Yeah. Well, how did he die? <laughs> the apostles had faith. Watch it, brother. How did they die? There you go. See, we, we, we attribute faith to the end has to have something good to come out of it. But watch this. God never told you to define good. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? Somebody said something. Oh, man. But well, we did anyhow. God, from Genesis to Revelation, God never left it up to us to define good. Amen. Yep. That's all right. Wow. <laughs> you ever thought about that? Because just look at how we define good. So, good has to be defined by God so that we can appreciate it. Amen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Amen. <laughs> you know why? That's true. When we define good, sometimes it, it causes us to be prideful. Mm -hmm. yes. When we define right. good, sometimes it causes us to think that we're better than somebody else or even in a more remote sense, I'm closer to God than you are. Yeah. Amen. Just by us defining good. 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 Mm -hmm. now, now watch this. When, when, when we talk about faith, we're not talking about Sunday only faith. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. See, if you look at us, how we dress, how we smile, carrying the Bible, or being prayerful, on Sunday, everybody got faith. <laughs> Don't they? Don't you have faith today? <laughs> Sir. Huh? You got faith today, but I, I don't know if you got faith on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. And guess what? I'm not going to follow you follow around, you around. Yeah. <laughs> to, to find out about your faith. So the Hebrew writer is building a case because saints, because of persecution, are being tempted to go back into their roots, which was the religion of the law. Yep. That's right, bro. So the Hebrew writer builds a case and says, there's nothing to go back to. There's nothing to go back to. And, and over the years, let me say this, don't get mad, okay. but make sure that it's on tape. Okay, gotcha. In the Church of Christ, we strive to make people like us rather than like Jesus. Amen. Amen. So true. So true. <sighs> Look, we wanted everybody to conform to us rather than conform to Jesus. So, so look at what's happened to the congregation. If you don't conform, somebody leaves. If you do something I don't like, somebody leaves. If you offended me, somebody leaves. Yet, how in the world can you leave Jesus? But we made it palatable because we said, you left the church. Yeah. You remember what I told you last week? You didn't leave the church. You left Jesus. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But it's more palatable to say, I left the building. 
I stopped hanging around those hypocrites. I stopped hanging around those people who didn't have my best interest at heart. Nobody wants to be guilty of saying, you know what? I left Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to say that. Listen, listen. When I said that, and I don't know if you're, where your mind goes, whether it went there or not, if I say my wife can't stop me, that shouldn't imply that she's trying to stop me. What it's saying is that my faith in God supersedes earthly relationships. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Do you see what I'm saying? That that that's because, and I mentioned this to you last week, that your faith is only as valid or as strong in whom is in. That's the, that's the strength of your faith. Everybody's going to say their faith is in God on Sunday. All right, watch this. Are you more concerned about getting well from an illness or having faith? Okay. Okay. Huh? Are you more concerned about a promotion than having faith? Oh, here's one. Are you more concerned about getting married than having faith? Oh, man. Huh? Are you more concerned with building a bank account than having faith? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Are you more concerned with having money or being right about something than having faith? Uh, that's a good one. Wow. Huh? Now, now watch this. Watch this. If everybody, and, and I'm sure we'll, we'll look at things, is we'll, we'll quote, and I would say more so we'll quote the positive rather than the side we don't want to quote. Everybody knows Daniel went in the lion's den and came out. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. They say, boy, Daniel went in the lion's den and Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro came out. And they were, oh. 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 Right? We hold they had faith. That's the positive side. But what about the people that trusted God and were sawn asunder? Well. Mm -hmm. What about the people that trusted God and it wasn't a happy fairy tale ending? Mm -hmm. like wow. We don't talk about those people, do we? Mm -hmm. Yet, they're in Hebrews chapter 11 and the wow. only verse we know is, without faith it's impossible to please God. That's the only verse we know in Hebrews chapter 11. No. No, that's the only verse that we know. And in a lot of cases, the brethren apply that to an unbeliever and the writer's writing to believers. Don't get mad. Just act like you're learning something. Amen. <laughs> well, why is that? How is that? Because we've created an atmosphere of church people and not disciples. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so now when you begin to talk about faith, your only connection to faith is everything's going to work out for me. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Right? You don't want to suffer, do you? Mm -hmm. huh? Lift up your head. You don't want to suffer, do you? No, sir. You don't want to struggle. You don't want no trepidation. Mm -hmm. You don't want no conflict. Nope. You want to walk in the park. <laughs> yep. Amen. That's true. Now, true. why would this why would the spirit need to reveal faith if everything was a walk in the park? That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Listen, listen. And in this chapter, the spirit is saying. There were other people before you mm. yeah. that took God at his word mm -hmm. even when it seemed ludicrous. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you didn't That's get right. it. You didn't get it. You know, faith can be looked at as silly or ludicrous. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you know that? Huh? It can be looked at as ludicrous or silly. You say, well, what do you mean? 
How does a man build a boat without a drop of rain just based upon God's word? Wow, right there. Amen. Right there. Faith. Building a boat. Today in our society, where do you see boats? In water. Yes. <laughs> huh? You see boats in water. You don't see a boat sitting up on dry land, do you? Nope. That seemed ludicrous, didn't it? Mm. Didn't it? Yeah. Because God said, "My flesh, I'm not going. My spirit ain't going to strive with man. I ain't going to deal with him. It, it repented me that I even Amen. made him. Amen. So God said, "Make ark. Mm. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you how to make it. And while you're making that ark." You preach to the people. Wow, at the Amen. same time. Come on now. So watch this. So you're telling people something is coming, right? To them, what 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 do they see that would prompt them to say, you know what, you right. right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Today, the weatherman says it's gonna be cloudy, and you look for the clouds, say, boy, it look like it's gonna rain. So you, you have a point of reference, reference today that don't take faith because it takes sight. sight. Right. Right. Amen. We quote the scripture, walk by faith, not by sight, but sight got us all in trouble. Oh, messed up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Listen, Me too. listen, that's true. listen. <laughs> it's not that you can't come to service. It's that you walking by sight, but want people to think you walk by faith. By faith. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. So Daniel gets out. He gets delivered. Right? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they get out. Mm -hmm. They get delivered. But, but watch this. But Samson had faith, but he wasn't delivered. No, that's right. Nope. Show mm -hmm. what? Hey. Mm -hmm. Show what? Wow, man. Good point. But is he listed? He's listed. Amen. Yeah. Sure In not. Hebrews chapter. But, but how come... When we talk about Samson, we don't talk about Samson from the perspective of faith. We may make up, sir, oh, he was the strongest man. He had a woman problem. But he's in chapter 11. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. is he not? Yes, he is. Huh? Is he in there, all you Bible readers? Is he? No, don't say yeah if you don't know. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. check. Amen. Yeah. But what did he do? What, what did he do that, that would exemplify faith? Look, did he make the... Would you equate Samson to making wise decisions? No, no, no. 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 Huh? Would you equate him to making wise decisions? No, no. Huh? No. Can you quote anything wise that he said? <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yet, he's listed, he's listed. Uh -oh. by the revelation as having faith. Amen. Isn't he? Yes. He ends chapter 10 by saying, We are not of them that draw back, mm -hmm. Ooh, come on now. but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Amen. Church members don't believe to the saving of the soul. They just want to be somewhere and sit around. Mm -hmm. Church members want to be somewhere and eat pizza. Mm -hmm. yeah. Church members want to be somewhere and get dressed up for Easter and, and Christmas. Mm -hmm. True. That's church members. Yeah. Church members only come to one service. That's church members. Mm -hmm. yeah. real. Church members don't come to Bible study. I mean, church members, the reason why they don't, because they all about church rather than Jesus. Come on now. Come on now. Look, look, look. Let me give you an illustration. Mm -hmm. A doctor is a disciple of medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to, to show you how much it takes to be a disciple, you can't be no doctor in nine months. No. No. Not at all. No. No way. Can you? No way. You can't be a, a doctor in six months. No. Why? You ever thought about why? 
because it takes longevity to be a disciple of medicine. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, watch this. The distinction would be once his discipling is finished, now he's sent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now he can practice on people, but don't you hope your doctor has been a good pupil. Yes, 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 yes. 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 All right, now, yes. now let's make it practical. Let's make it applicable to us. How are you becoming a good pupil and you can't even sit for two services? Mm. Uh -oh. You can't come to the Bible study. You don't study at no time during the week. you just a church member. That's all you, you've been turned into a, a church member. So you come somewhere in your mind to do church. You don't come to be discipled or to be pupil or to be a student. You just come somewhere to be a church member. So that's why when something happens that you can see, you don't know how to react, respond, or go through it. That's true. That's real, bro. That's look, real. look, look. Faith says, I can endure because of what I believe. Mm. But watch this. My belief goes further than God healing me from a sickness. Mm. Amen. Oh, you missed that. Yes. Look, you know why your belief goes further than God healing you from a sickness? Because you already know that he told you in this you're going to suffer. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, listen, listen. But I don't want to suffer. Do I? And let me say, it's nothing wrong because I know somebody said, well, well, my goodness. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Are you saying it's wrong for me to be healed? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is, if the healing don't come, that shouldn't disturb your faith. Amen. Right. Right there. Yes. right there. Why? Because, listen, your faith goes beyond suffering. That's right. Because he already told you, you're going to suffer. That's right. Yeah, he said that. Look, 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 look. Nothing that happens in the flesh ought to surprise you because God already told you it was going to happen. Yeah. 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 Yes, Don't marvel. That's right. <laughs> See how quiet? Look, God already told you you're going to have people that let you down. Yeah. God already told you you're going to be around wicked people. Yeah. God already told you everything ain't going to go your way. God already told you you're going to have sorrow. You're going to have pain. You're going to have issues. You're going to have things you don't like. You're going to be in situations you don't know how you got in or how you're going to get out of. He had already told us. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But you know what we do? Amen. We walk around <coughs> like somebody who wasn't told. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Mm. And then try to say, well, my faith going to make up for it. No, it ain't. He already told you. Look, God already told you, you gonna die. That's right. Already. That's right. So if He told you you gonna die, He done already told you family members gonna die. That's right. Yeah. So you know He said He done already. You gonna shed some tears. Come on, bro. Right. Preach it. Preach it now. You gonna have some sickness. That's right. You gonna have some things that what you we call stress us out. But God said, let me tell you now. What faith is. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Look, not what it should be, mm -hmm. right? Not what it ought to be. The writer says, now faith is. is. Come on now. <laughs> yes, sir. Right, right, right there. Yes, right? Right. Right. right there in 11 and 1. Is. Now faith is. is. Thank you. All right. yes. Present, indicative, Active. That's right. What it is, what it is. Now faith is. Well, what is faith? Well, I'm talking about now faith. Come on. Because yeah. you may.
may be talking about yesterday's faith or last month's faith. We're talking about now faith is. What is faith? The substance. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Well, well, what's the substance? Mm. It, it's something yes. that I can stand on. Mm. Come on now. Yes, sir. Amen. Faith is the substance. Mm. No, no. Watch this. What's this the substance of? Mm. Or some translation says, now faith is the assurance of. Well, it's the assurance of what? Things hoped for. Yes. Amen. Oh, you missed that. You missed it. Look, look, look. But watch this. Hope isn't a one-time deal. Amen. Hope isn't even though the grammar may uh, tend to lead you to believe hope in the sense of past tense. It's in the sense of this is what I'm expecting. Amen. Oh, you missed that. Amen. This is what I'm expecting, present tense. Right. But now the question is, what are you expecting? Yes. Amen. That's it. That's a big question. Yes. All right. Well, what are you expecting? Mm -hmm. All right. Is he talking about you getting well? Mm -hmm. yes, is, is he talking about there going to be more money in your bank account? No, sir. <laughs> is he talking about you getting a new house? No, sir. Huh? Is he talk what is he talking about? Is he talking about you getting married? No, sir. No. Is he talking about you living to your next birthday? No, sir. <laughs> that's what people's at. That's what people's at, huh? There's a blessing with your name on. Is that what he's talking about? Right now. That's what people are at. I'm, look, I'm trying to get you to see contextually where it is as opposed to what we think. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's true. Watch this. Is he saying that because you've been in a marriage for a certain amount of years, hmm. there ain't gonna be problems? No. Some of y'all that ain't married need to just come to grips with the fact you ain't getting married. Amen. Amen. Come on now, bro. Do that again. Amen. Come to grips. Stop, 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 stop chasing something that ain't Amen. there for you. Amen. And live for God. Look, 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 look. Your fornication ain't gonna get you nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. That fornication ain't gonna get you nowhere. All, all, all you out there is, is you running with the devil. Yep. Mm. That's it. If a woman is ignorant enough to sleep with you, she's just making you more of a devil than you already are. Right. <laughs> That's true.